Hello guys and welcome to round 7, the British Grand Prix here at Silverstone. We're here for qualifying and hopefully we can get an amazing weekend under our belt. We had a great time out in Austria as we see ourselves and Gary's give a cheeky little wave to the camera. Um, naturally, we're going to do what we normally do, fast forward till the end of qualifying, give ourselves one run, uh, save the tyres just in case we need it for whatever reason. has always been the trend as uh, another trend. Mahavir Raghunathan down in 19th place, soon to be 20th place once we set our time. Again, tyres limited here in F2, so naturally we're just going to try and maximise what we can do. Coming across the line for our first lap, P13. The Delta, <laughs> I was chasing the Delta of uh, Raghunathan the entire lap, and we go completely off the circuit. So uh, this lap isn't exactly going to be great, as uh, we're already down as we come into... Um, could come into come into turn four, but come across the line, we do manage to find seven tenths that lap, which puts us P5 overall. So that's not too bad. Um, you know, seeing what we can do, uh, maybe maximise uh, turn one, for example. Obviously, we gained almost three tenths through there. As uh, coming in to turn three, it's this time all over the table. To be fair, like we we haven't had a clean run uh, by any means, but it's it's definitely something we can work on um, as we go for this. Like, we've lost quite a bit of time on the exit of uh, turn five so uh, there's 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 time all over the place there really really is qualifying is now finished we we'll come through into uh into brooklyn as you can see we're down a little bit on um who is mashushita so hopefully we can pick up some time as we come through uh beckett's on the way through onto chapel and down the hangar straight open our drs you can see we're down we're up on mashushita by a tenth purple middle sector so if we can set an overall best lap time and that's going to be what we can do. We're going to come through the final corner and we're going to be about 4.5 tenths up. So we're going to come across the line and it's going to put us, if you guys are quick with your eyes, know where to look, you'll find out exactly where we are. But if you didn't, no worries. We can look now and uh, I'll show you exactly where we are in terms of uh, our position. But it's definitely an interesting one, uh, this Grand Prix. Obviously, we want to perform very well in front of our home crowd. Uh, Light cloud, I'd say that's typical British summertime, uh, really. Chance of rain uses pretty high, especially around the summertime, especially around Silverstone as well. That does always seem to be uh, a wet race. Traditionally, at least one of the um, sessions will be wet. When I went uh, last year to Silverstone 2019, it was raining on both practice sessions. Um, but I mean, what can you do? It's England after all. Jordan King's car has no tyres on. Hopefully, they don't put any tyres on his car. Um, before the rest of the grid you can see there on the right hand side we can see a Primark on pole position I can guarantee you it's not Mick I don't think Mick has had a pole position um, looking at the um, the sheet of results for this he has not indeed so that is going to be us on pole position once again for Primark Antoine Cubert P2 very good from him Jordan King P3 so we have King behind us once again uh, never good uh, especially after France Jack Aitken P10 in his home Grand Prix Mick Schumacher in 12th um, ignore that Red Bull race suit. Thank you very much. Uh, Mahavir Raghunathan, P20. Uh, you love to see it. Two tenths off Tatiana Calderon. He's had some impressive results this season, um, to be fair to her, but hasn't seemed to make it work in qualifying, uh, to say the least. But we are on the grid. Almost ready. Four lights out, which is going to be... It's going to be tricky. <laughs> it's really going to be tricky, especially um, with the Red Bull. Obviously, everything went well in Austria. Uh, you know, we want to make sure uh, we get the bits done here, especially in our home race. I mean, you know, it's got no ties to, to Red Bull, any of our sponsors, uh, apart from maybe Labrooks. Labrooks and Co. will probably have uh, ties to the British Grand Prix if in any kind of factor. But other than that, we just obviously want to perform and uh, make sure we, you know, set a good footnote um, for our career uh, around this track. Uh, that's, that's the ideal uh, start to our career. But we are coming through on the formation. Right? We're coming through Luffield. Um... Just, you know, chilling out, looking at the crowd. We're going to put our foot down and we're going to spin the car and we're going to be about half a metre away from being in the barrier on the formation lap. We have just made ourselves look like a right idiot. So we come round, we put our foot on the gas and then the car just it just goes. Now, it's you, you just couldn't make it up. Like, you know, anyone at Woodcut uh, Grandstand would have had a great view of that. Um, so obviously we found ourselves quite a way down, to be fair. So obviously we got to haul, haul some ass and uh, try and make sure that we can actually get back to where we're supposed to. So down in essentially P8, that's how far we fell down. Um, we're going to have plenty of time to make up our grid slot. As long as we can get back to our position, we should be fine. 
and there won't be any dramas uh, from the race director. Kind of my lot P5. That's not bad from him. I uh, didn't see that um, during the grid um, grid screen. So uh, once again, Nobuharu in P4. It's a solid result. Uh, to be fair to him, he is a solid driver in this F2 series. King P3. Um, but yeah, he's he's definitely a very strong driver. Has been uh, over the years. I remember the first time I watched uh, what was GP2. He was a pretty strong driver in the ALT. So he's been around for a very long time. I'm sure he'll probably pack it in at some point. We managed to make our grid slot in the end after an abysmal formation lap. But we're ready for the five lights to go out. And here for the British Grand Prix, we are underway and racing here at Silverstone. You can see Hubert gets off to a pretty good start. He's in the trouble to make a move into turn one. We'll have to cover the line from King. And we've been hit. And we're in the wall. And we've lost the tyre. Fam, we didn't even get to turn one. We didn't even get to turn one. So let's have a look. Look, Let's have a look what happened. So we essentially go three abreast here. And it was King, wasn't it? <laughs> it just was. It was. It just was Jordan King. Oh, mate. This, this guy. This dude. Like. Oh. I just can't be bothered. I just can't be bothered. I really can't. Right. Granted, if we had better starts, this wouldn't be happening. So, we essentially go three abreast here. And I move over to the left. Because, obviously, she bears on the right. Um, I can't turn in. Otherwise, I'd have to slam on the brakes. And I just... I... Uh, <laughs> I can't be bothered. <laughs> that's... Oh, that's just horrific. That's so... Uh, not only have we crashed out on that one. We've got to start from the back in the sprint race. Like, are you just having me on? <sighs> not how I wanted our so race to go but Prey was celebrating so um by all accounts Mick Schumacher's done an absolute madness and we're gonna skip that because you don't need to see him in a Red Bull suit but Mick Schumacher's won the race from P12 somehow he's managed to do that I can't quite believe that um with any DNF uh we're gonna thin last of course um Jordan King P2 great uh, well let's we'll just see how it goes in the sprint race then hope you've enjoyed slap a like if you do around this subscribe for more Formula 1 content and <laughs> hopefully it goes better in the next race